Hey, I'm Cheshi and this is Subnautica. Um, I know many people have done this before, but I still would like to give it my own little spin. Uh, it's been a while since I've played and I played on Freedom. So now we're going to try if we can actually keep my, ourselves fed in the survival mode. Now I would like to note that this game is still in early development as it states on the screen and performance may be lagging at some points. Uh, this also uh, includes that my machine is not the latest of models, so please uh, bear with me. Oh, oh god. Thank god we have a fire extinguisher here. Um, um, yeah, give me control, give me control. Yeah. Um, and pick up. Whoa! Everything's leaking and. How? <laughs> Come on! Extinguish! 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 I'm. I'm trying. I'm. I'm setting myself on fire. <laughs> That was intense. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. All right, so this is our inventory, or inventory, just all depends on how people would like to pronounce it. And so we ejected from a big spaceship and we, ah oh, there, whoa, that does not look good at all. So we ended up in the big blue ocean with plenty of water. and all sorts of strange sounds so let's start out by diving in head first that smoke is not looking good all right so <coughs> what i know what are you Pick up quartz. So what I know actually from seeing other people play it and from stories left and right is you are stranded on this alien water planet and you have to seem to survive. And you can pick up all sorts of junk like metal salvage and you have the fishies like this one which looks <laughs> uh, kind of icky and emergency 10 seconds of oh. oxygen remaining and basically you're trying not to die <coughs> so Let's let's um, try starting not to die. Looking to the left, we need some health and first aid kit. Yes, please. And from what I do remember is that we can use the fabricator to make all sorts of fancy stuff. Um, and one of the basic tools we like to have is... Well, we're a little bit hungry, so... And a knife would be good 
and an O2 tank or an air tank so we can stay underwater for a little more. Which is actually something you'd very much like when you're faced with an underwater situation like this. So Wow. So we have a little bit of food now so we can survive a little bit more. And in order to get a knife we Oh what are those? Fishy fishy here fishy fishy come here let me grab you in order to actually make a knife we need some more can we eat this? We need some more materials and I happen to remember that we need creep fine seeds in order to make silicone for what I can only guess would be the handle of our pretty knife. And eating some would also be handy. Because starvation is something we'd rather not like. Creep finds seeds. What? Oh boy. That does not sound friendly. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is that does not sound friendly at all, and the radiation isn't too to comforting at all either. Oh. And there's there's lots of plants and fish and things to explore. Oh, and those do not sound friendly at all. Jumpy fishy. the wrong one. I needed this one and not the lubricant. Yeah, nope. Time to get some more. Yeah, what actually is happening is after the ship has crashed uh, currently there's still a as the computer told me there's a lot of radiation leaking so it's best to stay a little bit clear from getting too deep or too close to it because I suspect that in addition to being stranded on an alien planet, growing green, growing, uh, <coughs> glowing green isn't exactly something you would like to have or like to do. Right, so now if I can click the right material for my knife, then we can make a knife. So we can knife stuff. Um, so first of all, we have a little bit of personal items now. Um, what I do know is fins are quite handy 
eventually a radiation suit is something I need to create and in tools the scanner which will allow me to scan parts um, for new blueprints something whoa everything is dark and glowy but eventually a um, scanner would be very beneficial to get blueprints for new fancy stuff I'm just going to take these and I know you ah! have crash power a explosive substance Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remain. And it will help us in making some more tools. God, this is actually really pretty. Look at this. Look at all the glowy. I have that. I have that. And all of this is all the terrain and plans and everything is handcrafted uh, from what I've seen from the developers website so the entire world is handcrafted with probably some random locations for everything that is um, how do you say uh, farmable those spawn somewhat randomly but the rest is all handcrafted and there are zones where there are big nasty beastie creatures and we'll probably get to that later big fish fishy all right so we're back and i have just made a battery so now we can make some fancy tools so I would like to have a scanner, because scanners are fancy, and you can find new stuff with that. And I want a welder. Now I need some magnesium. And now we can fix things. Probably. Um, let's see, let's um, try to fix this one, yes, so weld it all back to place, and this looks much better, and look, everything's green, so that's cool, great, so what do we need for fins? Silicone rubber, and we need creep fine seeds. So back we go. Right, so now we're back, and we have the creep fine seeds we need to make the silicone rubber, which we need to make the fins to make us swim a little faster, which is always a good thing. Because the faster we can swim, the less danger we have of getting eaten by something. And we already have equipped. Ooh, it's regenerating. That's that's neat. Uh, let's pick one. Um. So apparently, it's one of the next things we should look out for is making a. Uh, we don't have that yet is there is a mobile vehicle bay which allows you to actually um, build a small submarine called a seamoth and that would aid 
us in further exploring the deeps as we currently have just our own oxygen supply it's not much far out we can actually go Ooh, look at that it's actually quite pretty a huge moon I suppose and I'm not quite sure to estimate distances but would you think we'd be a kilometer out I'm not entirely too sure of that to be honest let's hope so it's little birds Readings suggest a quantum detonation oh, in the Aurora's drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state. Do you want to see some fireworks? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 4, 3, 2. That's a lot of smoke. At least we're kilometer one kilometer away and now actually from, from the game's perspective we have unlocked something because the scanner I have built earlier let's have a look up top the scanner I have built earlier can detect fragments and scan them or not detect them but uh, can scan fragments for blueprints and these fragments now have been flung all over the ocean and which enables us to go find some parts for our mobile vehicle bay or any other exploration tools just the tricky part is finding it But finding it requires us to venture out further. And I guess I'll leave that for the next time. So and that was all for now. If I made you smile, don't be afraid to like, comment or subscribe. And I'll have more madness the next time.